As a benchmark, uh, let's, let's start with uh, the Travis Central Appraisal District's estimate of lakefront properties here on Lake Travis. In 2010, they estimated about uh, $2.4 billion of property value, taxable property value here on lakefront, and then another $1.9 billion of value in neighboring lake, si lake area communities, with not necessarily waterfront. So about $4.3 billion in total taxable value. And uh, lake area properties have generally declined in value about 30% over the last several years. So 30% uh, of that 4.3 billion would be about a $1.3 billion loss of taxable value in the area. I guess the, the, the general feeling probably is shock that uh, they've lost that much value and uh, may or may not be able to move if they choose to at this point. I think the general perspective is that people expect the lake to recover and, and so they're, they're holding out hope. But at this point, obviously, if they, if they bought in the last five years, the opportunity to sell for a profit or even break even is limited. I guess the, the key to finding a, a good balance for everybody that's interested in the water here in this area right now is finding more of it. And uh, that, uh, it's, it's a challenge, but there are solutions available. Um, certainly getting better with conservation and with reuse of the water that we do have uh, is important and the Austin area has done a great job with that in the last few years. Uh, doing a much better job of capturing runoff in the city and storing that properly so it's available when we need it is important. Uh, dealing with uh, older infrastructure and, and the water loss that occurs there are all important parts of the solution and ultimately finding new uh, sources of, of water as well. I've been coming out here since 1971. Uh, I have uh, skied all over the lake. I have uh, scuba dived in many places on the lake, taught diving out here for a long time. Uh, and I've watched the lake come and go 30 or 40 feet in depth uh, at a time. Uh, and we're, we're much lower than that right now and for a much longer sustained period. Um, but it is, it's a very different place than it was. To build on the discussion we had about property values, uh, I should paint the contrast first that uh, average property values across the metro area over the last five years have been gaining about 10% a year. And that's at the same time that these lake area properties have lost about 30% of their value. So the gap between the two is getting larger and larger. At the same time, the city demographer here still uh, says and predicts that we'll continue to gain 110 to 120 people a day into the metro area, all of whom need to live someplace and are going to need water. So um, uh, it's going to be a challenge, and uh, this gap between the lake area properties and the city where the demand is even higher is going to continue to grow. Yes, as the Austin Board of Realtors, uh, we, we've gotten involved, uh, engaged in, in a meaningful way with water over the last several years because it is so vital. Not only are the, uh, the lakes and the, the creeks and the streams here a big part of what makes Austin Austin, they're also crucial to uh, the economic well-being and a vibrant future for the city. So yeah, we're, we're very much involved in, in trying to educate our membership and, and, our, uh, and the public to consider the future and better ways to use water and better ways to find more. There are risks with continued development, no doubt about it. We are continuing to gain uh, 110 to 120 people a day and they all need to live someplace. So there are uh, uh, condo developments and, and homes being built right here in the lake area today. And they do have their own demands for water. Um, we're, we're focusing on the solutions. We don't want to put up an Austin is closed sign by any means. Uh, and we do believe the solutions are here. We just need to get enough public attention on them and get everybody focused to make this work.